In this video, I'm going to talk about composite tolerances, particularly composite position tolerances. But first, let's start simple and just talk about position tolerances. So here I have a part um, with three perpendicular planes, which are my primary, secondary, and tertiary, ABC. I have a diametrical position called out to ABC. Well, what does that mean? Well, that means there's a circular tolerance zone, cylindrical actually, actually, if you look down the, extrude it down the third axis, and the center of the cylinder needs to lie within there. Actually, it's the axis of the cylinder that needs to lie in, in that zone. But we're gonna keep it simple and just think of circles and points. And this is not drawn to scale, okay? It's just, to get the concept, the center needs to lie within that zone. And what if we have a tighter zone? Instead of 1.5, we've got 0 0.5. Well, then we have smaller circles that that point needs to lie within. Okay, so let's measure a part. Here we've measured a part up. We have a measurement of datum B. We have a measurement of datum C. We have our four circle centers here. And I want to do the, my alignment to the DRF. So I've already done A. I'm going to now align to B and then set my origin on C. So there, I've aligned my part, and you can see that each center is within the tolerance zone. So that's a good part. But what if we try the same thing with our tighter tolerance zone? Well, I align to B and set my origin on C, and no, it does not pass. The centers are outside of my dashed um, tolerance zone. So what does this mean? Well, we have two tolerance zones. We have uh, a 1.5 millimeter tolerance zone, and we have a 0 0.5 millimeter tolerance zone. And they don't have the same DRF. This one is with respect to A, B, and C. That means that this tolerance zone is located typically by basic dimensions or by CAD as master to datums A, B, and C. This one, on the composite tolerance, the lower tier only controls rotational constraints. It doesn't control translation. So I've flattened to A and I've aligned to B. So that means I can't rotate this zone, but I can move it around. I can, I can move it wherever I want it to be. It is unconstrained in translation. Only the rotation needs to be held to the axis system def defined by AB. Okay, well, let's take our part measurement and see if it's in tolerance. So I'm going to do my DRF alignment to ABC. And I get what I got before, that my points are within the heavy dash circle, but outside of the light dash circle. But that intertolerance zone is mobile. I can move it anywhere I want. So can I get everybody in the pool at the same time? Yeah, right there. That has the center of each cross within the circle. So this part will pass this composite. Remember, it would not pass a position to ABC back to 0.05, but it will pass this. Okay, here's a different part. I'm measuring part number two now. Okay, let's align it. So I'm gonna align it to B and over to C and everybody's within the heavy dash circle, good. And now I just have to translate my light dash circle to get, get all the points in. Well, I can get one in there, and I can get one in there, and one there, and one there, but I cannot get them all simultaneously aligned, okay? This is a bad part. It does not pass this composite tolerance. But what if I had this tolerance instead? Okay, there's no B datum here. The previous one that we just looked at, there's a B on the lower tier. Here, no B. So that means we're only constraining the rotation with respect to A. I, I can, I'm allowed to rotate. So this guy now can move anywhere he wants, and he can rotate any way, or way he wants. So let's do our evaluation. Okay, we'll do our ABC alignment here. Okay, so everybody's in tolerance. That one guy there just barely, but he's in a circle. 
And then I get my tolerance zone here that's that's mobile and I can bring it around and uh, I can get everybody into the light dotted circle at the same time. So my part number two fails this evaluation, but it passes this evaluation. So that's how composite tolerance works. The upper tier locates the pattern with respect to the datums using either basic dimensions or CAD as master concept. And the lower tier just locates the features in the pattern with respect to each other. And you're allowed to translate freely to get that pattern and tolerance. And depending on the datums on the lower tier, you can also sometimes rotate to get them in tolerance.